Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this tech guide video, I'm going to take a look at Midrange Demon Hunter. The pure Acro Demon Hunter isn't really something that you can play nowadays with Altruis no longer part of standard format, but Midrange Demon Hunter does capture some of that essence of the old aggro list, because you can open up with Battle Fiends and you can use Felfire Dead Eyes, but you're just a little bit slower, you're a little bit less bursty nowadays, so you have stuff like Casagus, you have Bladed Ladies, and you have the excellent Illidar Inquisitors as your finishers, all of which turns this into a mid-range deck that can still play threats on curve, but against real aggro decks like Face Hunters, for example, you have to defend, you have to heal yourself up with stuff like eye beams and Aldrachi Warblades. There are some fun moves that you can pull off with this deck sometimes because you're also using Warglaves of Azinoth after attacking a minion, a hero may attack again. So when you equip your Warglaves and you use Relentless Pursuit, making a hero immune, you can just kill multiple minions in a single go. And remember, once you have depleted all the charges of your Warglaves, if you have any additional attack, you can still attack one more time. So you can, for example, clear a Taunt board and then go face and allow your Illidar Inquisitor to go face as well. As for the mulligans with this deck, you're just looking to get a good curve. Battle Fiend, Felfire Deadeye, Mangrick, Casagus Golem Shaper, that would probably be your ideal curve. Sometimes you can also fit in Mana Feeder, Pantaras or Wand Makers into it if you can't find all the good stuff. Overall, Midrange Demon Hunter is probably the weakest of the viable Demon Hunter decks at the moment. It is a slightly above 50% win rate deck. It has a good matchup against Shaman, and it can punish slower controlish decks like Priests and Warlocks. But its matchups against other Demon Hunters, as well as Druids and Hunters, aren't that awesome. So if you just want to win, and you want to win by playing Demon Hunter, Death Rattle Demon Hunter is still the way to go. But this is also a viable alternative if you just like to chill. Now, let's go take a look at Midrange Demon Hunter in action. If you enjoy this content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. The hunt is kill the hatred. 10,000 years, you know. Ha 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 ha. That's a lot of years, in case you didn't know. Oh, that's awkward. You should just I beam it now, right? I think I should simply I beam it now. Let's just get rid of it immediately. Before they play a spell on it or something. Oh, that's awkward. Going to Aldrachi. I guess I have to. The part to see what else I would do. Let's go in the Aldrachi and kill that. They didn't keep any other cards in the mulligan, but if they wanted an initiate from the tracking, that kind of makes me think that they would have something that would go nicely with the initiate. Just a hunch, but... We'll see. Okay. This will force a hero power from me. But that's fine. I can do that. I can do the hero power. I can follow that up with the mana feeder Pantera. It will get me a card. And I get to kill the gold car. But that's fine. Now they were able to get a minion to stick on the board, so if they have like adorable infestation or something, oh, that's going to get them the 7 6 Rhino. That's a little annoying. One double Chaos Strike doesn't do a whole lot against that. Theory. A little later, I think. Right now, I just need to kill that one. Use this to go face. They, so they have the 7-6 Rhino, which is something they're fairly likely to play here. It's going to deal a bunch of damage to me, but I might find a way to wiggle, wiggle out of that problem. Hi Diano, good evening. Here comes the Rhino. That, that one of course also has to trade. Okay. Leader is studies time. Can I get something good from the studies? Oof. It's a bit of a whiff, isn't it? 
It's a little, yeah. I think I want the skull next turn, right? A bit of a whiff. I have to hope they don't find another rhino now. Need to do the Ganar play Smith here. Need to use a okay, Chaos Strike. Oof. I wish I had had that Relentless Pursuit earlier. I could have tried to dig for it with the Chaos Strike, but it's so unlikely that I would be able to pick it up. So now this can really start hurting. If they can find the second Rhino. Pursuit will allow me to kill that though. so that I can kill that, but I'm I've taken too much damage. Hi Bonioni, started learning Magic the Gathering today. Awesome. It's a great game. A lot of fun. Hungry, aren't ya? Oh no, now they get the now they get the tree trees. A bit too much pressure coming in here. I mean tree twos of course. Still a bit too much pressure. I'm not going to survive this. If Skull picks up Aldrachi... Skull has to pick up an Aldrachi, right? Then I might be able to survive. The hero power costs one less. I need the dead eye on the board. I need to equip the Aldrachi Warblades. Plus three attack from Fury. Mankrick has to trade. I need the attack from Fury and I need to trade. I go to 12. I go to 12 and I can heal again next turn. But I've seen both trampling rhinos. But Hunter has 5 cards left. They might have the damage. Quick shots, arcane shots. Something like that might be the damage they need. Piercing shot. Arcane shot. Or quick shot. They didn't have the damage. Oh boy. They actually didn't have the damage. Like an eye beam there. I can play the Chaos Strike. Okay. I will still play the Relentless Pursuit. I need all the... I need everything. I can. That's four mana. Yeah, I can do Illidari Studies here. For another Eye Beam. Yeah, for another Eye Beam. Thank you. I can Eye Beam there. I can do Relentless Pursuit. And Hero Power. I can play the Bladed Lady. I can hit the Hunter in the face and I can attack with that one. And I go to 16 health. And I have the board. And this is a lethal setup for next turn as well. Hero Power and Inquisitor is exactly lethal if they don't kill any minions. But they will kill some minions, I suppose. Or they can get, like, Freezing Trap or something. It has to be exactly Freezing Trap, doesn't it? Anything else and they're dead. Oh, six damage. They could use another six damage. This one tries to go face. It was not freezing trap. Then it's lethal. I didn't see that coming. That was that was a very strange game. Just different archetypes. <laughs> Lovely modes, thank you. I grow 
Okay. Ouch. I'm a little bit afraid that this could be Gibbling still. So I believe I want to play the Pantera, even though I don't get the card, just to get the Tempo Minion on the board. But it's more likely to be Clowns, I suppose. Or some kind of Jamber Jank. Alright, we get the Mancrick out there. So far so good. I won't be able to get Skull on 6. This looks like Skull on 7, potentially. Yeah, it's some kind of Yank deck. Or it could be Clowns. Blade Lady is a demon. I suppose a pair of those can be handy. Next turn is the Warblaves. I would need them to still miss one more turn. After next turn I will be ready. But this turn, if they have a great turn now, then this is the turn where they can still do things. Ouch. They had a great turn now. Okay, just a bit more def- oh, oh, yeah. Twelve plus eight. Twenty damage. I have to take the twenty damage. Okay. Let's hope they don't have more. I mean Arbor Up would win the game of course right now. But failing that we have a pretty good swing next turn. Okay. Then the swing turn. So the Relentless Pursuit is what we start with. Plus 4 attack and we're immune. And then I will be able to play all the Bladed Ladies. I want to kill these minions and get the board. So we're going to kill all of these minions here. Like this. And then we hope that the druid doesn't have anything to do good right now as a follow-up. 8 mana, only 4 cards. That's a good card. That's a weak minion. Kasakus for the small one. That's an option. Or the skull. Druid is at 31, so no way for me to kill the druid. I have to kill both of these minions. And they got a... They probably got a guardian animals, because that's an Adelie Selene right there. I have to expect guardian animals to come next. We'll do the skull. I will have to trade there, and I will have to trade there. And they have the Guardian Animals now. So Guardian Animals is coming. Obviously a problem. Oh, it could also be a Scenarian Ward, actually. It could also be a Scenarian Ward. Without an Inner Rate, they can't do a double Scenarian Ward yet this turn. So if it's another Guardian Animals, if it's actually a Scenarian Ward, then... Then it would be less of a problem. Okay. It was Guardian Animals. Do they get a treasure? They got two treasures. Oh no. That was so good. Ouch. A bit too good. This means they, got, they have so many things that they can get done. Like if they find the Asharash. Ouch. That was just so crazy good. It was just so crazy good. My eyes 
Of course we need something like that. Then the Kasakos. Kasakos for a five mana golem. Poisonous. I need it to be poisonous with rush or damage. I need it to be poisonous with rush or damage. This is too slow. Now they can get the clown board. I can't answer the clown board. I mean, I suppose a board full of clowns is coming. It's all aid aids. I can't do anything about it. Now this won't be enough. This just won't be enough. Sadly, I can't do anything. Clowns will, clowns will win. I don't have an out. I don't have an out against the clown. Too many minions. Yep. No out against the clowns. There's nothing in the deck that can help against the clowns. I don't think there's anything in the Illidari studies that can help either. Olgra doesn't help. I don't think the I beams help. Killing two clowns, killing three clowns still leaves 32 damage on the board. Nope. No outs. Might need the I-Beam. Let's see if we can get a card here that allows me to free the I-Beam. I do? Okay. And a Battlefield. That's nice. That's really nice. That was beautiful. Now we could answer like a Veiling Vapor. But obviously Shaman has a lot of tricks up their sleeve. Two Veiling Vapors. Veiling Vapor and Kindling. It's annoying. The Dead Eye is nice though. I can do the Dead Eye. Do I need to kill the Veiling Vapor now? What if they play. That could be like an Aerie Stormer for next turn. That's actually quite likely. I probably do have to take this trade here instead of a value trade. So that the Arid Stormer play would be a little weaker. If they have a Guy Worm play, it's still strong. But it would have been also strong no matter what. That was not particularly strong. That was excellent for me. But I do need to use this moment to clear the board. They have the elemental chain unbroken, so they can play a tree cost elemental now. I think I would have hit with the weapon, but okay. Let's draw a card here. Oh, it's another battle feint, that's nice. Do I want to do Illidari studies? No, not right now, because I probably have to use the I-Beam next turn. I grow impatient. We're just going in with this now. Skull will be on 6. On 5 it's I-Beam, potentially Illidari studies into whatever I can pick up from that. So that's a Serpent Shrine portal. It's a Lightning Bolt. Well, I didn't see that coming. That was really surprising. To use Chaos Strike. But I have to use I have to use the I Beam to free the skull. I have to use the I Beam so that I can free the skull. Then I might do a Chaos Strike though. I grow Push a bit of damage to the face. Shaman has only 4 mana now, they're a little bit limited in what they can develop. 
No buffs. No wind fury. They didn't play an elemental last turn. Oh, the Kasakus. Oof. I still have to do the skull. Skull is just so good. Man Creek. So far did I. Throw power. Going face here. Right? I don't have a way to get the bladed lady out there really well. Oh, that was sweet. Holy cow, that was sweet. I beam doesn't kill the minion there. I have used I beam in the light shower though. That probably would have been correct. Wall glaives aren't really helping that much. I think I have to drop my bladed lady out there. Just that to kill that one. And go face with this. Leave them with the 3 6 average Stormer. Oh, that light shower element was really sweet defensive tool right there. So many, in, in a way, good cards, but competing against each other. Is this a Kasagos turn? Avoid 9 damage. Set up for Kasagos for next turn. I think that's what this is. I don't want to swing 7 to the face. Yeah, I might as well. Clear the fire elemental, clear the stormer. Oh dear. Random stuff begins. I could do Kasagus and the Five Ghost Golem next turn, depending on what the Shaman is able to find here. Typically, you would use Fireheart as a responsive tool, but a little bit surprising, of course. Does Olper change something? Does the Bladed Lady change something? I mean, I could build up a board here. Or I could get Kasagos for the two. I think I'm going for the board. And Terra draws me a card. I'm looking for those Inquisitors. And that's an Inquisitor right there. Bladed Lady can kill that one. If I go face, I set up for lethal thing. I have a lethal set of thing because you drove the chaos strike already. I don't even have to go face. Okay. This should be a win from here. Chaos strike, illiter, inquisitor, 10 damage. Not to mention they have to worry about the board. So I think we've got this. Yep, Shaman doesn't have enough. All right. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Twitch channel.